morning viewers, I've finally had my coffee and got up and Lewis is here, you can't see him but I'll put him on in a minute, he's there. We're going off to the, um, some caves and we're going to fly the drone around and do a little bit of different stuff for the channel this time. So we'll see you when we get there in the heart of the Lake District. See you soon. Astonishing power from the golf there, brilliant. There was no holding back, there was no hesitation, it was just utter grunt. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. This is all gone in the vlog. Guys, we're out of the car now, uh, we're all set up, and I've been searching for this place on the internet for quite a while. It's, it's like a rocky sort of quarry type thing. Again, I'll do more voiceovers in the video when it's done, but look behind me there. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to get the drone out for this one as well, so I'm going to fly the drone around and take all this in. Uh, what appears to be a, a cave. This is one of the caves. And it looks like at some point there's a car fell in here. The bonnet. Looks like an old Fiesta, like a Mark II Fiesta. For some seats, that looks like some van seats. And then we've got, oh, we've got more of it down here. Just waiting for Lewis to catch up. There's a spring, a window wiper arm, seats, car wings, doors. What's going on? What is going on here? It's like a full on car being abandoned. What's happened? I hope someone's just dumped this here and not fell in. There's a full on car. Oh my word. Right, guys, we're in a cave and it seems like I'm on top of a car. I'll put my torch on. And I've got as well, I've bought more batteries for my torch. So I've got more light. So this is a cave, it's full of car parts, it's very, very strange, there's, there's car parts everywhere, like an old door, seats, house seats, look at this, inside of an actual cave, it's strange because it doesn't do it justice. kid's car. Another car door. Like, what, what is going on? The car part in here is unreal. They're everywhere. It's, you could build a car with all the stuff in here. Springs, wheels, batteries, doors, bonnets, wings, headlights, tyres. Just wow. <laughs> it's like someone's piled them out in a scrap down there. Just dumped it. That's what it looks like. So that's one of them, there's a back door there. So let's have a look over here first. Got a little pit down there. Right. This is what I've been looking for. This is what we've been coming to see. So I'm gonna to go to the end of there now. Hodgeclose Quarry is just one of many slate workings in the Tilberthwaite Valley between Langdale and Coniston. This was worked on a large scale from the 19th century to a small scale in the early 1960s. Hodgeclose Quarry is a massive excavation of light green coloured slate, sheer sided and unfenced, with an original work depth from ground level at about 100 metres, 300 feet. The 150 feet deep face is a favourite of upscalers while the 150 feet deep flooded workings which extend below the surface are popular with divers. From the far end two huge openings are visible at water level, one containing the wrecked steel base of a crane which leads into the neighbouring Parrock Quarry. For serious divers the quarry has a maximum depth of about 32 metres with visibility up to 10 metres. 
there is a tunnel entrance at about 24 metres which leads into three chambers and two interconnecting tunnels. A number of divers have lost their lives in Hodge Close Quarry, mainly as a result of getting lost in the underwater tunnels. Only the bravest would tackle the caves whose icy waters have already claimed the lives of several divers. Hodge Close has claimed the lives of at least three divers over the years. And in 2005, the Coniston Mountain Rescue Team had to help a 48-year-old diver who had surfaced too fast after thinking he'd seen a body under the water there. The main tunnel opens to several chambers along its length and presents a good sporting dive at times when most other divers would be blown or washed out. The water is generally cold at this depth at 6 Celsius or below. It is known locally as one of the scariest quarries in Cumbria and judging by the eeriness and the quietness of the place when being there, it can't be far wrong. Cars and some vans lay lying beneath the water for training purposes. Some toys and other items have been found, but what else lies beneath? Is there anything else under there that no one knows about? Who knows, and maybe we'll never know. If anyone does have any comments, and would like to share any stories, please feel free to leave a comment below. So, <laughs> this place is absolutely stunning. We're on the end of what seems to be either a track or a crane. I'd imagine below that water is quite deep and that's where they would lift things and carry things from, so I imagine this would be some sort of crane. I can't see it being a track of any sort. Um, if anyone does know, please correct me. Lewis, if you fall in there, just so the viewers know, I did try to save you. If you look as well, you can see that. That's rock climbing rope, and just there, there it is. There's a, a hook, and there's some... There it is some rope there. So people have been climbing this. I don't blame them either. It's absolutely gorgeous. Should have fallen the bastard drawing in here. <laughs> That's a cave. Yeah, I should have flown the drawing in here instead. Right guys, um, there's been some problems with the video. Um, flown the drone over here and the footage never saved so I've lost that footage of the actual quarry itself. We came back today and it's too windy for the drone, I'm not risking it, um, I'm not risking losing the drone so I'm just going to leave that part of it out. Uh, you can still see various parts of the, the quarry and whatnot but I'm sorry about that but I did get some drone footage and how big the site is so I'll stick that in still and we're in this part of it now which is another quarry which is very very deep and you think if you think on the same scale as the other one the other one's 150 meters deep and if you're at the top you imagine where the water line would be you think how deep this is as well there's cars and everything in there so yeah this is quite astonishing this site it's very smart back to the video Viewers, we are in a cave, an actual cave, 
I haven't got my torch with me, it's in the car. I'll explain later. But we're in an actual cave. Look at this size on it, like. People have been here having a good time by the looks of it. It's not wet in here. Oh, where? Yeah. SSP. I don't know what that stands for. Oh, my word, that is, a, that is astonishing. Lewis, you're missing out, eh? We're having campfires and and it goes up there as well and out to an entrance there. It's like hollow out all the way. Need to try and get up there somehow. So where it takes us. We're back in a second, guys. So we're inside this bit. I've just climbed up that little um, slate bit there. It's like a room. It's like someone's setting out, look at all this slate. Fireworks. I don't know why there's fireworks and it's very dangerous. Loads of cases of batteries, which I would assume people have been using for torches. The amount of fireworks in here is unreal. I don't know why there's fireworks in here. Look at that. That's where I climbed up. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, peace out.